It's Alan Adrian. Hi. Hi. Um, what time should I appear uh, Monday night? Oh, shit. About, uh, about 7.30. Um, will I be on the guest list? Well, no. They won't, the club won't open until 8. Ah, uh, okay. Good. Uh, no, come at 7.30 and, and you fill out an application and get a number and whatever. You probably... $500 to the winner. Great. Good. Each. We decided to split it. I couldn't give just the girl a thousand, a guy nothing. <laughs> it's five hundred for the girl and 500 for the guy. Great. I'm glad you decided to do it that way. The other thing I was going to ask, is there another screening of Exhausted Holmes film? Uh, not that I know of. I thought I heard something about there being one this week, but oh, I guess I'd not. To, I'd love to see it. Mm. Well, if you don't know about it, I guess there isn't. Well, no, no one's mentioned it to me. Everyone's either in jail or crazy or what. Everyone's in jail. Who's in jail? Oh, they busted Kirkman up there yeah, in New York. Yeah, I know about that. Yeah. yeah. There's only four people, though. Well, I mean... Well, everybody's talking between that and Holmes and everything else. Right. <laughs> and my party at Plato's is right in there with all that shit. What shit? The talk, you know. Sure. <laughs> Those poor four people who got, ended up in jail from Curtin's shoot. It was it was their first time doing a film. You ever actors and actresses from California? Uh -huh. And simply because they didn't have New York IDs, they got thrown in jail. Because I guess they were afraid that they would split the scene. It's too bad. Too bad. Huh? Too bad. Yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty... Uh, uh, it's terrible. I don't, I don't know if they're still in jail or not, are they? Uh, I think two of them are. Two of them are. I think so. Good. Now, Ron Jeremy told me all about it. Ron Hyatt. Is he going to narrate tonight? I mean, Monday yes. night? Yes. Oh, what? Great. What? Yeah. I said good. Is he good? I said good. No, is he good? He is good, yes. Good. You've heard him, haven't you? Sure. I'm asking you if you think he's good. Yeah, I think he's good. For okay. for that type of event, he's perfect. He's just the right man. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Well, I hope so. Remember, I'm going to be a judge. If you win, you give me half your money. Oh, did who? when did we decide that? <laughs> when did we decide that? Just right now. I'm kidding. <laughs> I say that to everybody. I know. <laughs> Jamie and I will sit together and make fun of everybody. <laughs> and how many guys are entering? Who knows? I think 15. Do I have tough competition? I have no idea. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. Sure. I think for $500, a lot of guys are going to whip their pants off. That's what I think. You mean other than those 15? Or just those 15? Um, well, everybody's going to want to whip their pants off, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, oh yeah, I wanted to ask you, what am I supposed to wear and stuff like that? Uh, big bathing suit or G-string or? Uh, I don't know. Bring them both. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Play it by ear. It's good enough. Tie, of course. The black tie. You're gonna give those out. No, I'm not. I, I'm. Uh, I'm really not. You're not gonna give those out. No. You gonna have to get one. Well, just wear a. a what you call it? A bow tie. A bow tie. Mine is dark blue. Is that okay? Yeah, for sure. We're a dark blue bow tie. Okay. Yeah. Sounds Put pretty a nifty. Around it. Sounds pretty nifty. You'll get a number on your back. Hanging on my back. Good. Well, we don't want it hanging on your front. No, you don't want to cover up anything there. No, we don't want to cover up anything there. No, who's who's going to be there and from listen, the press? I would suggest you have such a big dick. Yeah. That uh, you sort of like look at some some people. Don't get too crazy. I mean, you know, but if you come out, if your dick is pretty hard when you walk out, yeah, I think you have the best chance of winning <laughs> with a big dick like yours. Hard. But the big dick is only such a small portion of my whole body. <laughs> your body's gorgeous. Oh my God, are you kidding? I have the Alan Adrian uh, Polaroid collection here. Okay, yeah, I want to take two dozen more pictures of you. 
We'll have to do that. Yes, you're my best subject. I'm telling you, I'm going to split them. I'm going to sell them. I won't cheat you out of the money. I don't want to steal them. That's all right. I don't care. Who cares about the money anyway? I want people to have them. I want these girls to just see this. I want to take pictures. And no, we'll take some more. Yes, we'll take a bunch take, more. Yes, I want to take some more different kinds of things. We'll do, uh, we'll just do different pictures. You could take pictures of mine or we'll get, I get, uh, somebody, some girl to take pictures of, of, uh, our dicks tied together when they're hard. Outrageous. <laughs> oh, yeah, but it, but I want it to be in Polaroid. Uh, Annie and I came up with a great idea. Home, home Polaroids and home video. Real personal. Real personal and dirty. They love that. You know that? One of a kind. Limited, dish, well, limited editions. That's why I said every time yes. we want a picture, I'm going to take a picture of your dick. I'm not going to just uh, duplicate it. This is really just, I just, it's a picture of your dick, one of a kind. No shots of you against the uh, the floor are the ones, so that's the one everybody... Did you get any takers for those yet? Any buyers? Well, no, actually, I haven't shown them. I haven't set up what I wanted to yet. My office is, I ordered a rug, and I ordered a, all these things. My friend is going to fix the phone, and, you know, it's all, it'll all be done next three weeks. Oh, fantastic. And then I'm going to take mean... an ad out. Oh, great. Where, in Screw? Um, yeah, probably in Screw. Probably in Screw. Probably in Screw. All right. But, uh... We'll see what happens. Yeah. You just come by and pump iron. Hmm? I said you just come by and pump iron. Pump iron. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, I wish you luck Monday. So, so, uh, did you give out lots of, uh, regular... I have to cover my ass in this thing. I mean, I, you know, I, I really... I'm not looking to make money on this little event. I'm looking to break even here. Mm -hmm. So I have to get at least 200 paid people into this fucking place. Now, that's see. not a big task, considering I get 4,000 freebies at Magique. But, you know, i gotta, I got to promote the event, and, and uh, that's why I just got to spread it around. I mean, I'm, I'm opening it up to single guys for 20 bucks, when normally a single guy can't get in there, period, and, it, and a guy any other regular night, it's 50 bucks. So, um, do you think you've reached that 200 mark? What is it, 200? I don't know. I'm, as I say, would you like to, I want you to give out some more invitations. Well, I still have quite a few oh, left. I'll... Wait a minute, hold on. Let me let Marta in. Okay. It's all right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, Thank I'd... you, Marta. I'm trying to think of more people to give the rest of them to then. Except yeah. the problem is, is, is getting a... Too many guys, you know. Well, no, and then then forget the guys and just uh, any girls that you know. Yeah. Uh, give me their names and I'll put them on my guest list and they come as my guest for free. Oh, okay. Okay, or bring them in with you when you come. Okay, fine. Either way. Great. Either bring in a couple of girls with you, which I'd like to see when you get there. <coughs> After all, you do need a couple of girls to grease your body up. Grease, yeah. Oh, yeah, you should rub grease on it before you walk out naked. Mm hmm It'll look great. Um, I, I have to get some grease, or are you going to provide it? Do you have any grease? No, I'm not going to provide anything. No, I have to get some grease. Buy baby oil. Oh, baby oil. Mm-hmm. Good. Have two women grease you up on the floor when you come out. Mm. That'll be different. You could be different, you know. Wow. Have them come out of the audience when you walk up and put grease all over your body and just rub you right on the dance floor. While I'm on the floor. That'll make, that'll really cause a stir. I think that'll be great. And who will be there from the press? Uh, well, just club. Well, it's club, that's right. They're that's paying right. cash. Yeah, right, right. To the winner. So remember, if you win. Split it in half. <laughs> No, I, I no, I'm running. Hope I'm true. taking it and running. I hope I win. Actually, there's a second place, so we're going to give uh, fifty dollars to the second place winner. Well, that's good. So that's not so bad. That's good. And actually, actually, it's not fifty; it's a hundred. He's got to take a, a, a girl out to dinner, I think, or some. I don't remember what, what what the thing was. I see. Maybe it's a hundred to and uh, maybe it's a hundred to the second place and fifty to the third place. That's mm -hmm. probably it. It's for dinner. Mm. It's supposed to be like uh, dinner for two at some thing. Any special?
actual date rate or cash, or right? Yeah, forget it. Yeah, that's good. Whoops. Is that you or me? No, hold on for a minute. Alan? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, so I'll hear from you over the weekend, yes? Um, well, I don't know. I'm going to be running around, so I'll probably see you Monday night. Give me a call. What's that? Just give me a call over the weekend, and I'll and I'll see you uh, Monday night. Oh, okay, great. Okay. Yeah, so you know nothing about a home screening. Maybe I was just hearing things. No. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cute. good. I'll see you then. Right. Bye. Bye.